just an absolutely magnificent day. The sun is out, there's not a cloud in the sky and I'm really excited to see Nick. My feelings for Nick are really strong, stronger than I have felt for anyone in a very, very long time. But the last thing that Nick and I spoke about in my hometown happened to be his situation with Cass. Uh, my sister was saying that in the media there's been a lot on you and Cass. Oh, OK. Like it's, a, it's all that's out there that you guys have been in a relationship, are in a relationship. Like it's a, a bit of a thing. And obviously I only heard that tonight. <laughs> I asked Cass, but she definitely didn't give me a straight answer. He was someone special to me, so I don't know how to explain it. But was it physical? <laughs> I have we, spoken we, to Nick, so just tell me. I don't know what to say. Yeah, like, I don't, like, this is just a really inappropriate situation. I didn't want to have to do this. I actually don't know how to handle this situation. And I haven't seen Nick since, so we haven't had a chance to speak any more about it. So I'm hoping we can clear the air and just move forward and just keep continuing developing what we have. Really looking forward to seeing Brit today. To me, Brittany is a classic beauty and I can see in Brittany a lot of qualities that I'm looking for in a girl. I like your pants. I like your hat. I like your face. <laughs> She's smart, confident. Watch and learn. Oh, Brit, you're an impressive woman. I'm all about Brit's take on life. It's about having a blast, traveling the world, and living life like there is no tomorrow. <laughs> and that's quite attractive. I turn around, much to my delight, to see Nick, I think, doing an illegal manoeuvre and banging down the grass in an old-school ice cream truck. <laughs> well, hey, good to see you. How are you? <laughs> Regardless of how things went with the hometowns, I'm really, really excited to see Nick. I love seeing him. As soon as I see him, I have a smile across my face. I know I'm in for a really great day. Well, you know, well, how do you like me uh, set up here? It's a new rig. I like it. Yeah, yeah. What about the truck? The truck's actually nice too, but uh, yeah, the rig's better. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to sample what I've got to offer? Uh, I've been sampling this whole time. Why stop now? <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> a man that brings me ice cream on a cliffside in a truck is like all my wildest dreams come true. <laughs> So it's two for four dollars, is that correct? Um, it is two for four, but not dollars. It's two for four smooches. Ah, oh, what a currency you trade yeah. in. Yeah. Sneaky. I don't know if Brit's more excited about the payment plan or the mango sorbet. Either way, she's having a win today. This is nice. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I just <laughs> thought you got to have somewhere to sit to eat your sorbet. So. How about the hometowns, you know? <laughs> that was the last time I got oh, to... How about that? How about it? What do they think of me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, they really liked you. They really liked your sense of humour. You fit in really well. Like, it was so easy for them. Um, they obviously had some concerns mm -hmm. about um, this situation. My family really liked Nick, but they obviously had their reservations regarding Cass. But, um... You know, overall, they said to me that I look, like, genuinely really happy, um, which is all that matters to them. This Nick Cass situation is a tricky situation, but I think there'll be some deeper discussions later. Right now, I'm just going to enjoy my time with him. Today is about classic romance. I can see you that classic beauty. You're like a Wonder Woman up from Hollywood, just in one of those old movies. I just, I'm not saying you're old, I'm just saying... <laughs> You've got that look. Just a classy bird, you know. Thank you. Nick said that I remind him a little bit of old Hollywood, so he's setting the tone for today in a sort of a classic way. First up, we're going to the top of the lighthouse. Is there an elevator in there? Now, I thought, you know, after the ice creams, we could just... Burn the couch. <laughs> yeah. Let's face it, lighthouses weren't built to be small, and these hills definitely weren't built to climb lighthouses, so this is going to be interesting. You know, the good thing about stairs, is they just lead to somewhere? They always lead to something. <laughs> Jesus, lead into a bloody heart attack. <laughs> but once we got up the 3,221 stairs, we were greeted with the most spectacular side of Sydney. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so amazing. We 
You can see the Harbour Bridge, the Opera House, uninterrupted views of the harbour. I'm very lucky because not many people get to do this and on the 200th anniversary of this lighthouse, on a cracker of a day, I feel a million bucks. I don't think many people would get this view. That's right, because you're special. <laughs> beautiful view for a beautiful lady. It is really, really beautiful. I've had a very, very lovely morning. More importantly, a beautiful heart.